Secret Mouse. Uh, today we're just going to do some videos on my brother A65 uh, machine, which is sort of came out uh, September uh, 23. Uh, it's been hugely popular when we can get hold of them. Uh, by far away makes the cheapest brother, cheapest main brand machine. Uh, that's put your thread cutter. It's on the A series platform which is sort of designed if you're going to classes, portable, it's lightweight, strong, very capable with uh, some of the features that the A-Series has uh, that's changed the way machines are a little bit. Maybe, maybe. The foot length and feed dog length is longer. Um, I've talked about this in other videos, a bit of a geeky science thing, but obviously having it longer with a longer feed um, changes the angle of approach. So certainly when you go from thick to thin fabrics, it's not sharp rise because of the feet different. It copes with undulating textures uh, a lot better than sort of other machines. Uh, making it again, although it's, it's small and lightweight and you can take it to class, uh, really capable. So let's dive into it and see what else we've got on it. Uh, so again, we're used to this now, the jog dial system. Uh, fantastic, this one's machine's got 60 stitches. It's got six buttonholes, uh, it's got your automatic thread cutter, it's got your speed control, you need to up down, tie off, reverse, and you stop start. Uh, using it, very nice features to use. You simply turn, turn the dial here, corresponding to the one you're looking for, tells you which foot you should have on, it automatically sets your, your stitch length and automatically sets your stitch width. Uh, so very Simple machine to use. Let's show you how to thread it up. So we're all numbered. We've got numbers all the way along here. So down to three, all the way up so it goes into the tension. And it's number four and back down. One thing we do love about these. A series machines is they've brought the needle threaders down on some much more expensive models recently. Which is the pull, pull down needle threader. Which leaves us our little thread tail there, and we are threaded in a matter of seconds. Now, which leads us to the bobbin. So it's a drop in bobbin, and it's got your thread lead out uh, to put it into the tension and cut off to give you the exact amount of thread that you need. So we just lay the bobbin in like a left P, go in, pull it round. I always keep a finger on the bobbin as you pull in just to make sure it has pulled it into that tension. Pop our bobbin window back in and we're ready to go with sort of, as I was showing you around, we sort of went to the zigzag, so we'll start with a zigzag. Give you an idea of the, of the speed of the machine and the sound of it. Start off slow. So we've got loads of control here. Nice and slow. You do get foot control um, in the in the box with it. You get hard case as well. So everything you need, you are transporting it around, but you don't need to use that foot control. Uh, I've said hundreds of times to everyone that comes in the shop. Uh, if you haven't used stop start before, just give it a chance. Uh, what you find is you sat square to your machine, you're not sat one sided, it saves a lot of back problems. Speed control, so we can speed this up here. It's got very nice smooth water, no jerkiness on the fabric, even fold. Put your top and bottom thread. Drop the thread cutter. So 
and move it on. We'll just go through a normal straight stitch to give you an idea of the speed. So we'll turn this down to our normal straight stitch. So full speed. See what the lead out is. So that's straight stitch. Stitch one. If you pay it from the machine, it's very smooth. Machine. You can drop that all the way down. A really nice controlled straight stitch in there. Decorative stitches, stitches for stretch fabrics. We've got loads of buttonholes. We've got a lock stitch. We've got a twin needle button here. So if you're going to run a twin needle, it'll give you an audible note warning you if you're going to potentially uh, strike the needle on the foot or on the part of the machine. Uh, it's caused any damage. So that's a, it's a good safety feature to have. Uh, we've got a nice backlit LCD display. So even if you're in a dark room, uh, you can still you can still see what you're doing. Uh, you've got great LED lights here as well. Um, you've got stitch width and stitch length control. So using this machine, obviously we're on straight stitch here. Uh, but we can increase the stitch length up to a five centimeter, which, uh, sorry, five millimeter stitch. Um, do some bursting off and we've got a really long straight stitch. Uh, and then what we do have, we'll take the needle up. We've got your needle position here, so at the minute we're over to the left hand side. If we wanted to stitch in the middle of the stitch, simply each half a mil increment just moves the needle slightly so we can get exactly where we want it lined up. If you're going to put a zip in or you're using a certain, certain width for your, your seam allowance, uh, you, can run, you can run your fabric down the side of the foot and have your needle set in the exact position to, to always give you that without having to go and buy a specific foot. Um, you can buy the quilt kits for these machines. We've come with tables and accessories and you get a quarter inch foot. Uh, but you can set that needle position uh, where you want it so you don't necessarily need a specific foot, uh, you can just use your start off, use your normal one, and, and get your needle position how you want it. Um, and, and certainly, when we move to pattern stitches, uh, these will change and that will alter the, the width of your zigzag so you can go up to a 7 mil wide zigzag. on a nice stable fabric like this calico and give a really nice finish. Um, so standard size machine stitches. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on there but there's sort of little circles around here. So as soon as you get a circle around the width that you're, you're using, that's that's the standard machine setup. So you're three and a half mil zigzag. Standard size. As you turn to that stitch, that's what you get. And then as soon as you wander away from that size, if you wanted to adjust it, you lose the little circle. But as soon as you go back to that stitch, it goes to the, the pre-programmed uh, selection. Uh, so just a recap: uh, really lightweight, uh, full metal machine. Uh, it's been designed for classes. It's had a lot of features, sort of re-engineered, I would say, when they brought this machine out, we had an engineer sort of come to the, the launch event uh, from Japan and sort of talked us through some of the things that it did. And as an engineer, right, simple things, but really good. Uh, so your handle, it's just a handle, right? Yeah, no, they've, they've actually put a little metal, fine metal bar throughout the plastic just to give it that extra strength. So when you are carrying it and you're taking it to class, you've just got a lot more confidence in it. Um, and so there's a lot of simple features that Brother have done um, on this range of machines, which do make it, I believe, the best machines to take to a class. Uh, the fact that they've now brought down your thread cutter from the much higher machines into this sort of machine with, with less stitches on it, makes it 100% my, my favourite 
sort of classroom machine. Uh, it comes in at 499 at the moment. Uh, and you can buy accessories, every other accessory will fit it. Uh, and you can also get your quilt kit at the same time as well. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.